All right, anyway, uh, real quick here because we're running late, but uh, Robin insists on hearing this. I have to. I'm dying to know what happened. So Stuttering John uh, had said to me a couple of days ago he was going to make a phony phone call to Gary. <laughs> and the premise was, you know, Stuttering John is the guy who really made Gary a lot of money in the stock market. Yeah. That you'll admit, right, Oh, absolutely. Gary? Made yeah. me a ton of money. Made you a ton of money. So how could but you be angry with But you were able to buy your house because of the money John made you. I was able to buy a better house. Right. Not like if, it wasn't like if I met John, I would have no house. But I was able to buy a better house. Right. He made a killing for you. But I thought about world. this, too. I, listen, I appreciate that John helped me get money, but he doesn't need to give me money to like him. I'd like him anyway. And if he wants the money back... I'd give it back to you. Well, him. you sound way too defensive. Nobody yeah. brought that up. You're on well, the I know, John, but, but John always says that. John no, says, I don't bring whenever it up. I say something to John, he goes, hey, man, I can't believe you're mad at me. I made you all that money. Yeah, well, that's not right, John. How, that, you do say that. You do say that. That's why I've said, I said you, that. You said that a bunch of times. Oh, that's, that's BS, man. I, you know, I make sure I don't say that. I do no, no. you bring you it up. You say, how can you be mad at me? I made you all that money. You say, how can you be mad at me? Just in general, whenever I get mad at you. no, no. That's like, but, how can Nicole no, be mad no, at O.J.? No, no, he, gave, no. he gave her millions of dollars. No, it's not, you know, you know. I really watch myself about that hard, but if right. Gary says so, we'll believe it. it's true. You brought uh, it up once or twice. Maybe yeah. once or twice. Well, if you make a guy that much money, maybe once or twice you can give me, please, once or twice. Well, no, listen, work is work. The fact that you guys have a relationship yeah. outside of work, you exactly. can't let it interfere. No, exactly, which is why... Well, that's why you can't use that against him. No, no, but you know what? I play practical jokes on my roommate. I play practical jokes on, you know, on, on friends. I consider Gary a friend. I didn't know this was going to be work slash friend thing. I, I, you know, I, no, I, take away the work thing. It's a friend thing. Yeah, a friend thing. So what's if, the big thing? You, you don't play friend, practical jokes on your, on your friend? I don't play practical jokes oh, I, on you. Oh, I do not play practical jokes on you, Stuttering no, no, John. End no, no, no. of sentence. Yeah, all right. Well, I play, I mean, I mean, do you play practical jokes on Scotty? No. Well, no, I, no, I do. I play them on everybody. So because you act like a jerk, we should all accept it. Yeah, I just thought it'd be funny for the yeah. I of course, it'll be funny. It. I asked when it's not when it's it. not you, it's always funny. All right. So anyway, John made a practical uh, joke on uh, Gary. Phony phone, phone call. Phony really phone call. Well. <laughs> so let me tell you the setup. Yeah. What is the setup? Setup is um, you know you know we you know. You, Get it out, my friend. Gary gave some money to uh, you know a broker, and the broker you know his name is Benny, and he decided to you know and then and and and. and, and, and and, and, and so he just called Gary to tell him that the, that the uh, stock... All right, let me explain it, because no one knows what you're talking about. Yeah, some setup. All right, the setup Sorry. was basically that Gary had invested in his stock. Mm -hmm. And uh, Stuttering John's buddy is the stockbroker involved. And, uh, you know, listen... So who makes the call, the stockbroker? Yeah, Gary had been calling for a while saying, listen, sell. I want you to sell this stock. I'd actually just been calling the guy. I couldn't get a hold of him. I called him five times. He didn't return my call, which I later found out John set that part up as well. Right. To, for this whole joke. <laughs> yeah. And I was trying to find out the status of some of my stocks. Right. And I could not get the guy on the phone. And right. I was starting to get nervous because we have been involved with guys in the past, friends of John's as well, who have suddenly closed up shop and left, <laughs> you know, without notice. So you want to know sell my shares so I may realize a profit. Exactly. Exactly. Well, okay, so here we go. I'm buying and selling. I'm buying and selling, and I don't have a pot to piss in. Sell, sell, sell. All right. Say, if, if I called this guy today, yeah. I'm not saying anything, but if I called this guy today and he wasn't there, hmm. I would not be shocked. Okay, here we go. <laughs> now, we should get this guy on the phone, actually. For this well, we can. I told him to put his phones on. All right. You want me to call him? Nah, I don't know. Let's just hear the call. Yeah. All right, here we go, and Gary is going to get the news that his stock has fallen apart and he's lost a lot of money. And I should point out right now that I don't take bad news well. All right. Ooh, oh, boy, I can't wait. <laughs> Gary. Benny. How are you? Good, how are you? Oh, That's too good. What's the matter? Yes, I got bad news. What's that? Hold on one second. <laughs> John. Gary. Yeah. Um, Did you hear what happened? No. What is it? Um, Friday, the company went out of business. Uh, had over Sterling? Right. And what happened was, uh, all their stocks, I don't, I don't know how to tell you this. All their stocks, okay, halted trading. Okay, in the past, when I got involved with stocks that halted trading, mm -hmm. stock always went up about three, four points. Right. So what happened was, um, the stock halted trading. My trader called me in. He says, listen, the stocks just got halted on uh, Hanover Sterling. I says, really? I says, that means the stock's going to open three, four points. So I, what I did was I put a block, at, uh, a block of stock together with all my clients. Mm -hmm. And what happened was the, the company went out of business. Yeah. Boy, Gary's so thick, he don't get right, it. He doesn't get it. You are stupid. I get it fine. I'm waiting for him to say it. Right. I want the words to come out of his what mouth. Are you, what are you I'm doing? all pent up. I'm ready right. to scream at him. I want him to say it. How much money are we talking about? $10,000. 10000 
I mean, let's face it. I mean, that's, that's, that's a, a lot of money. That's a lot, a lot of money. money. Maybe money not to the king of all media, but right. Gary, that's a lot of money. To me, that's what I uh, tip John for buying a potato. <laughs> yeah, same for you. That's a lot of money. That's right. No, if anybody, 10 grand. I mean, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of You, you would put up 10 grand. And at some point, the stock had gone up. So you were probably now looking at what thirty? Uh, no, no, no. Actually, I put up seventy-two fifty, right? Seven thousand two hundred fifty dollars, and it had just moved up to around ten thousand. When I last looked at it, I was at ten thousand dollars. I see. But oh. I put up seventy-two hundred of our own money. And you were feeling, a lot of money. and you were thinking of selling at that point? Yeah, I was like, hey, you know, no sense hanging around. Made enough money. Three grand is a lot of money, right? You know, and looking not at greedy, <laughs> not greedy, exactly. Right. So how come you didn't return any of my calls last week when I was trying to call you? That's exactly. I was trying to get out of it. You wouldn't call me back. I don't know how to tell you. Stop. John, John, Benny's on the phone saying that the company went out of business and we lost all our money. Is he yanking me around? Which company? Hoop. No, no, not Hoop. What's that? What, in what? Then what? Not Hoop. I sold the Hoop to get out of the Hoop. I no, no. You, well, well, you didn't sell Hoop with my approval, so you owe me the money. Well, the stock went down 80%. I no, it didn't. Make it listen, guy, I can make it back to you. No, no, no. Listen to me. The last thing I was in was Hoop. Well, what I wanted to do was I sold it. But, I, but you, you don't do anything without my approval. But if it would have worked out, it would have went good. No, no, no. I don't care good or bad. I don't want to know. I want to know everything, and that's why I called you five times last week. I couldn't get in touch with you when this thing... You were such a f***ing liar. Oh! Benny, I called you five times last week. <laughs> the guy in his mind. I got a home number with an answering machine on that is always on. I'm at the station all day long. I did not get one message from you last week. Gary, I can make it back. I got another... Benny... Time. Here's what I need for you to do. Get me a check for seventy-two fifty today. That's all I want. The account's down right now. Benny, get me my money back. The account's down to about twenty-one hundred dollars. Give me my money back, Benny. You, you may trade without me. I wouldn't even know where to begin to call. I can make it up to you. So make it up and get it back to me. I can, okay, I can make it up to you. I got this deal coming out March 9th. I can make it. It's about, I can make, it's going to be about three, four hundred percent, but I, I can do it. So what will I end up back with? I can make you back your money. We'll, you know, we'll make me back what money? I didn't even know what money I had because you wouldn't return my calls to tell me. I was, you had me in and out of three, Benny, Benny, you had me in and out of three or four stocks and you wouldn't call me back to tell me anything. This is downright cruel. I know. <laughs> Look at poor Gary. Yeah. Oh, you know, and you want to know what a really funny... You're handling yourself pretty good when it comes to your money. You want to handle my affairs like this. You want to know a really funny side effect of this whole thing? Yeah. You know the guy, Doug, that works at E? Yeah. John got Doug into the stock, so Doug just happened to be there. Oh. And I said, he goes, who's that on the phone? Benny, ask about me. Ask about me. And I go, yeah, you lost all your money, too. Oh. And Doug is shaking like at least... Oh, he's man. Right now. He was almost in tears. So Doug's in there, too. Yeah, Doug's freaking right now. Oh, man. Oh, my God. He's wise to go. I'm trying to keep a record of what's going on. And I don't even know what the hell I'm in. Listen, I know I can make it back. No, Benny, Benny. Let me do it for you, please. You know, I really feel bad already. I lost a ton of money here. I don't care about making it back. I want to know what you had me in that went out of business. The company is called Panex. P-A-N-X-U. Then what, Benny, why didn't you call me back last week? Listen, how do you want me to tell you these things? I want you to tell me that you, that I... I didn't avoid your call. What's that? I didn't avoid your call. Every, nobody in the office told me that you weren't there anymore. No, I'm here. I'm still at the office, but I wouldn't avoid your phone call. I, you, but I'm not saying you avoided it. I'm saying you didn't call me back. No, well, I was in meetings all day, all night, and all week long. And I got a house number from all day, all night, and all week long. I was in meetings all day, all, all night, night, all week long. Hours, seven days and then I said, I got a home number that's right. on all day, all night, all week long. Yeah, but he was in meetings all day, all night, all week long. <laughs> I could call you. Back. He didn't know you were calling. I like that. <laughs> I, I think this is really, you know, not a good thing, Benny. I trusted you, which is which is the last, which is. I obviously can't. If you buy, if you're buying stock without my approval, I can't trust you. Well, listen. In the past, the stocks always went up, but I'm telling you, these deals always went up. But I want to know. I wanted to be, out. Benny. I wanted to get out after hoop. That's what I want. I wanted to be in hoop and get out. What'd you put me in hoop for? Wait, you like, is this any Gary on hoop? Know, hoop and that, that. Man, what the hell is hoop? It's the name of a stock. Did you guys make money on that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a good stock. Johnny sweating. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. Were you like panicked? I mean, were you yeah. out of your freaking. mind? He was freaking. The, rea the reality of it is that John has made me enough money that if even if I lost all that money, 
I still made more. The point of it is, is my wife says to me all the time, "All right, you sure you know what you're doing?" And and, and right. I, I, you I, don't want to go home and tell her. I don't care about the money. I don't want to go home like Ralph Cramden. Right. You know? Tell her, you know, here's another fine. Money lost seventy two fifty. I just I can't imagine how you resolve this thing. What? Uh, is it coming up? Yeah. 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 And what'd you get me out of it for? It never went anywhere. It felt it stayed flat. So why would you get me out of it? Well, because I could have made you an extra four or five points on the stock in one day. And then I can... So why did you call... Why don't you... Well, you know, I've been dealing... Benny, I've dealt with ten stockbrokers. Not one of them has ever done that without calling me first. The past plenty of times. Not with me, you haven't. Well, I, Not with me, you haven't. Well, you left the money here, so now I can do it. No, I didn't leave you that money and say do whatever you want with it. You asked me to buy one particular stock, and I bought it. You didn't say, leave me your money and let me play with it. Big difference. Right, Benny? No, it's the truth. I didn't say, you didn't say, I'm going to have a party with your money. You said, I'm going to put you in hoop, and then we're going to get you out of it. I'm going to have a party with your money. You think I knew this company was going to go out of business? That's not the point. The point is, I know what I want to do with my money. No, it's not the point. The point is, I know what I want to do. And I want, and I didn't want to, I'm not, I'm not a gambler. I wanted to get in and get out and do what I wanted. If you didn't want that, you should have never taken my money. Sorry, I lost your money. <laughs> you lost all my money. <laughs> oh, seventy-five, seventy-two hundred dollars. How much did you get? Seventy-two hundred dollars. And everything's gone. But I got about two thousand left. He put me in a stock without my knowledge. What stock? Am I in the stock? What, what, how come John's not in that stock? Because he pulls out all the time. He said you pulled out. Well, I pulled out of something, but is that the one? Is it new man? He was, oh, what happened with John? He pulled out. Out of what? <laughs> He takes his money and runs. He said you took your money and ran. Well, yeah, I did, I, but I didn't take all of it. I still have some of it. How come John's not in the stock? Because I didn't have any money here with him. That's a lie. He just told you he didn't take all his money. Well, he left a few thousand. Right. How come you put a few I thousand of John's money in there? He enough money with me. Right. What about Doug? You see, Doug, Doug didn't make anything. He made a, he, he's down a little bit of money. He's down a little bit of money. He doesn't have that much. I had to send him back money, too, so. <laughs> but how come you don't call me and send me back money? Of course, I wanted to impress you. I want to show you something. Well, you impressed me. You impressed me and showed me that you lost all my money. You're a magician, Benny. You took 7200 and made it 2000 in a week. <laughs> Doing material. That's about three weeks. But see, that's the point, Benny. I called you five times last week. He said the company went out of I just like that the guy's name is Benny. I believe it. You got, I got to tell you something. If you met him, yeah. if you saw him, this, this whole phone call would be ten times funnier. Really? Benny's about 5'2", yeah. high, and about 5'2", one. And he's like one of those muscle guys. Yeah, right. And, you know, if you didn't know he was a stockbroker, you'd scare the hell out of him. Right. <laughs> Which company? I don't know. Some co he put me in a stock. Company. He put me in a stock without my permission. And, he, and then the company went out of business. I'll never see that money again. Uh-oh. Reality sets in. I, 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 I'd like to get a hold of uh, one of your bosses and rap to him about this. Why would you do that to me? Yeah. Because... You uh, because you you did something very unethical. Well, I made money for you in the past. No, no, no. One time, one time. It was two times. No, it was one time, Benny. And this time. Right, and this time, and I gave you permission to put it in the hoop, which I was monitoring. I want to know where my money's going. There's nothing wrong with that. Why would you hey, Benny, want to know you, that? You give me some money, and I'll hold on to it. You give me ten grand. I'm just impressed that you're able to handle yourself. On the phone like this. Roll it back a little bit, because this is a... Uh... Actually, Gary sounds like somebody's dad. Yeah. <laughs> you almost sound like you know I what like you're doing. I'd like to speak to one of your bosses. And I'll hold on to it for you for a couple of weeks. I'll invest it for you. But I won't tell you where it's going. And then, you know, three weeks, I'll call you back and tell you how I did. Listen, I got this deal happening March 9th. You yeah. Know, but, you, but you... But... If you send me more money... <laughs> you're at... <laughs> you know, it's funny. This is a, he's... <laughs> but, Benny, you around with me. No, not at all. He says he wants me to send him more money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he's around with me. Who's recording this? Oh, you figured it John, out. Yeah. You? Oh. <laughs> With that? <laughs> <You're> <laughs> such a I knew you were. So you're happy at this point that you didn't lose your money, yeah. but you're sad because John. Here's the setup. The setup, the setup is I'm on the phone. Yeah. John is standing behind me. Right. John is on his way out to interview LT. Right. So it doesn't seem odd to me that John's standing there with a microphone and a tape recorder. Right. Because it looks like he's on his way out. Then also they realize the microphone's pointed right at me. Yeah, right. No, <laughs> out you fucking bastard. What's that? You better have recorded it, tell him. John, what are you doing? What do you mean? What are you doing? What did I do with this? What did I do with this? It's mine. I didn't even get you back for the last one, you Because you told me you haven't forgotten me for the other one. Oh, you guys should die. Yeah, who are we talking about? Benny, 
I thought you wanted to be my pal. How could you do this to me? I would want to do anything like that to you. I would never do that. I would want to do it. Howard. By the way, Howard. Let me ratting you out. You're the one. You just told me you're going to do it. I would have you want from me. Bloody money. Oh, Betty, what are you doing to me? I'm the king of stuff. Oh, yeah. No, it doesn't. John's back there. Don't get mad. Benny, you know, Benny's such a great Benny, were you... You were pissed, man. Oh, yeah, I was. I really was. <laughs> and then, like, ten minutes later, the whole rap I gave you this morning, I gave to John. Right. I said, you know, I was in there, and I go, what are you doing to me? Like, wh why am I the butt of your joke? <laughs> right. <laughs> I thought it would be funny for the ad. It, and it is, but it, it's not funny to me. <laughs> wow. It's, you know, it's, you know it's, it's a practical yeah, joke. It's, it's, you know, and, you, and then they all come back Gary, to haunt you. Yeah, but Gary, we've done, you know, friendly favors for each other. You know, you've done... Yeah, I, yeah, just I because you do I favors don't. for me doesn't mean you have the right no, to... No, like, no, I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying both of us. We've been friends. I don't know. I mean, we group on each other. You, but, you, you know, you make stuttering jokes all the time. Again, I told you... How bummed out I was about the puppet thing, and I ju and I just told well, that's what I can't believe. How I continue to be still puppet. hasn't forgiven me for the freaking puppet. No, I didn't say five I, months, and he doesn't. So he made a Jackie. John, anybody John, else? Just me. I didn't, right. me. I didn't right. say I didn't. You know what? Because he's allowed to be. I right. didn't say I didn't forgive you. I didn't say I didn't forgive <laughs> you. Yes, you did. You said no, I didn't. Still mad I just about said it. I can't. Believe, I'm still bummed out about it because it really hurt me. You know, I spent the whole weekend. You know, while, while well, what's he supposed to do? He, that's why it's a practical joke. He's pissed off at you. Yeah, right. So if it's not obvious, it's, 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 not, it's not good unless you piss a guy off. Yeah, but yeah, so don't you think you would forgive me by now, Scott? Why? Forgive me for all the tw 20 jokes I played on him. But why, why should I forgive? I, I just told you I didn't forgive you. Why would you do it again? Because I said, if you're not going to forgive him, I might as well just keep on going. Just keep on going then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got to lose? <laughs> I mean, really. If you're, 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 not gonna you're at ground zero, so have a party. <laughs> no, no, but if you're not going to let it go, okay, I, thought, I thought it would just be a funny thing. Plus, I didn't I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, it's still cruel. What is it, Ralph? Two days. Ralph has something to add here about John and practical jokes. Mm. Well, I never play one on you. No, no, no. But I just find it incredible that John. John really has a. He always gets mad at me. Like I'm going to say something to somebody about something or repeat something to somebody, and he, I, I don't see how he can do this kind of thing to Gary relentlessly. And, relentlessly, and, and, with his attitude. Twice. I mean, Twice in seven years. That's relentlessly. Well, you do it That's your definition of relentlessly, you do it Ralph. Everybody, like Gorilla, you, you, you. you I play practical jokes. jokes. What's the big deal? Yeah, but John, <laughs> if you don't want me to play them, how do I want? I always ask you. I love it. I always <laughs> ask you. I think it's, it's, funny. It's, it's all for on the air. If it I love it. Gonna... I love it when you're all at each other's throats. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. If John, listen, if the, like what, John and sort of... Ralph, as far as Ralph goes, I, what, you must be gay because only gays don't understand practical jokes. No, I'm you're so sensitive, like a woman. Listen, Ralph, the on John. It's Ralph, the on John. But John. John is always getting pissed at me if I, I slip and Dude. say something to somebody that I shouldn't say or, or, or he thinks. You know, no, no, there no. it is. I, I, I get pissed at Ralph for, 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 you know, for things like asking my girlfriend to do cause with me. I love you know it. I mean, I mean, I mean, that, I mean, I mean stuff I mean, like I mean, dumb stuff. Oh, now that would have been but funny if yeah, I did but that see, on the, purpose. But, but at least you get all, if you're going to play a practical joke, Ralph, at least have some you know, tact and do, and do something. That was no problem. You know, you know, you know, I require some, uh, yeah, some thinking. So John thinks, he's, John thinks he's right because he does them well. Right. No, God, really? Ralph, how the hell did you get involved in this? That's all I want to know. Who the, who the hell are you? Why don't you get your berry ass out of here for a second? I swear to God, I, I don't do nothing to you. I avoid you. You're a dick. Get out of here. No, no, John, you're a dick. No, you're a dick. You're a dick. Why are you getting involved in a fight that you have nothing to do with? It's me and Gary. It ain't you. Well, I mean, it ain't I'm you. involved with it because I want to be. Yeah, of course. You want to get your freaking big nose and everything. Yeah, so? You got a problem with that? Is there any reason for this? No, yeah, he's saying, reacting. I understand yeah. what he's saying. He's saying that you react whenever whenever people do yeah, things, I, I, so you I, should I, understand the character. Then if i got to deal with Gary, and i got to deal with Ralph, too. Hey, yeah, what can well, I tell that's, you, man? that's your problem. You wouldn't no, I didn't everybody. play a practical joke on you. I played it on Gary. I don't play practical yeah, jokes but, on you. Yeah, but John, but you're always giving me a hard time about you're everything You're always giving me a hard time. Day. The other day you yelled at me for hours because I was trying to help you. The other day you yelled at me because I was trying to help you. Yeah, this is funny. And then and talk about people giving a hard time. You, you give everybody a hard time. Trust me, you do. Trust me, you do. If anybody, right, you know what? You know what? You know what? You, know what, you want to know something? This you're, is great. You're off the point. So what's right. the point then? The I point, have no idea. The point, the point, the point, is, the point, point is, is, you expect everybody, Gary, you expect Gary, everybody Gary, to be sensitive. Gary, I apologize. You expect to you, everybody to be sensitive to you, but you're insensitive to everybody else, John. That's the point. All right. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't realize it was going to be that. How come every show leads back to everybody hates Ralph? I know. I mean, who? I'll tell you what. One time we tried to tape Jackie in the joke off. Office, and he went nuts. Right. You know, it's, it's just not it's not funny. So do it again. Of course it's funny. Yeah, I got to tell you something. What, I, I, you? I, the point is, let me tell you what I love. I love, you get caught, I love. You get I love it. You know what? My feeling on this is, is the following. <laughs> I like it. 
I like everything I see you here today. You love this harmony. I love it. You do. I thrive on it. Just stay on your toes. You know, you know, I was thinking about this the other day. You love I so love much. it. There was a time. I could listen to you guys fight all day. There was a the time. The question is, why does Gary ever let his guard down? Right. If you're dopey enough to let your guard down, then that's your problem. Robin, how about we pull a few jokes on you then? Robin, put your guard up. We'll see how funny it is when it's you. Let me tell you something. There was a time when there was an unspoken law right. between me and Jackie and Fred that we didn't rat on each other or goof on each other. And it took you That's seven exactly years to chisel it away. Why. But when you chiseled it away, you were the happiest man in the That's world. That's right. And now you know why I'm happy. You <laughs> tapped into it 100%. Exactly. This little attitude that Howard is some kind That's of enemy. Right. Us and that everybody them. in this room keeps everything from me. It wasn't us. Now I got you all ratting on each other. <laughs> I love it. It's the truth. That's right. It's, it's it took you. And it's only going to get worse. It's it's you know what, years with Keep going. going. But you know, Gary says it's going to reflect now. Uh, you know, on I used to walk in here. I see uh Jackie conspiring yeah, with Fred and Jerry. And everyone's keeping me out of the, wait, in the dark. Man, the truth was they were still ratting on each other. Of course. They were uh, lying. Well, now, and now and the rats are, are and really crawled out. half the reason they hate me is because I, I talk to you it. a lot. And they I think love I'm going to tell you everything. I love it all. Every time they wanted something to get back to you, they told me. Yeah, and you know something? And you know something? Gary, your job is to tell me everything that goes on around here. I not do. to make alliances with Jackie and Fred and all these other people. Well, you busted that up. He's right. Good. <laughs> no you lesson. will now tell me everything? I always have told you everything. Good. Gary was the only and, one keeping and, secrets. And, and, and Ralph asked permission to come in here anyway. Yeah, he asked me. Uh, he asked and me before we the air. I have to now do the news. I don't have all day for this show. I have to take a break. I have a life. Okay, Ralph. Can I just ask you? you know, the thing is, I don't know how this involves work, Gary. It's, no, it's just, it was it was it was just a, a you know a practical joke. Why does he bring up that now it's 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 attached to work? What? How is it attached to work now? I don't understand. How does it's how does not... playing a break? You know what I'm saying, Howard? You know. You know, if it was Jackie playing him, no big deal. But now that I played him, now Gary has the authority now to say. I, you know what? You know, I, you know what? I don't. No, why don't I you, can't follow all of it. In other words, he's trying to say that Gary's going to give him a hard time back in the office. Yeah, I'm not. Now, no, no, now I'm, I'm not going to give John. John you just I'm not going to give John a hard time. I'm just going to hold him up to the regular standards that I should have been holding him up to the whole okay. time. All right. No hard time. All right. I'm not going to. I'm not. Why, Howard? Because I played a practical joke. Right. So in other words, I'm getting because, penalized. Because, no, right. No, no, no. That's part of it. No, no, no. You were getting penalized. The exact reverse. You got a handicap for me being your friend and letting you get away with too much. You know. Why don't you just punch him, Gary? No, I'm not going to punch John. Uh, right. Ralph, I'll punch you before you punch him. That I paid this to You know what's funny? During all this, Gorilla the intern is back in the office putting glue on uh, Gary's chair right now. So that when he sits down, he'll be stuck in the chair for a couple of days. Get them all out of the I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm not going to do no practical jokes anymore. Uh, don't be a pussy. No, look at him. Look at you. You're cowering. No, I have a great you one. You've got to go on. One. All right. Well, go then on. there you go. Then just go on and do it. Yeah, You're at ground zero. Oh, you heard what you said. Yeah. All right, good. This is good. I like all this. Good. Congratulations to all of you. Yeah, I love you, Gary. Yeah, Man, sure. you'll see how he loves you. Yeah, so, all right, go back there, and, and now we'll go work together in yeah. harmony. <laughs> I love that. All right, I'm going to take a break. <laughs> that was like the Ralph best just, thing I've heard in years. And we'll Ralph just we'll made it because I despise him like everybody else, and he knows it. Because he walks around with an implied... You're dynamic. still talking to the wall. I'm, I'm sorry, not listening I'm to sorry. this point. Why does everybody hate Ralph? Because he, you know, he, he's, like, he's trying to help Ralph. And like the other day, I was trying to help him in here, and I was asking him to, you know, to do something. And I said, hey, John, and, John, and, and then he's yelling John, at John, him. John, John. Oh, you don't care. You're I'm talking sorry. like a nervous right. girl who's about to get lose her virginity. Just no. <laughs> All right, here we go. Nobody knows what you're saying. No one, you're babbling. I'm right. babbling because they just, I don't, I don't, I don't know why you came in here. To, to, you know, John, you, you, that, that incident that happened, you were trying to articulate something. I had no idea what the hell you were talking no, about. I was in the middle of doing something, no. and I said, you want to give me a chance to articulate? No, you're like, okay, okay, all right, this ain't big. You can't even get your head through the door. That's why, Ralph. I have what? Why can't I get my Nothing. Hey, no, I already said it. All right, come on. You. Both of you, out the door now. Out. Out and Z. Out. Out. I can't take it. My ears hurt. Take it into the hall. Take it into the hall and settle it like men. <laughs> You're stuttering on deaf ears. Get out of here. <laughs> That's all. Well, I'm going to sit and listen to this nonsense for a few minutes, but not for my entire day. No, I just don't understand why Ralph what? is so hated. I mean, they all because think that he's your best friend no, and they hate John, him. John, John is so mad that Gary's upset he's that he's take taking it out on Ralph. Work. That's all. Right. Everyone is... Okay. It's, everything's yeah. going on. There's a lot of things going on. <laughs> all right, I've got to take a break. We're going to analyze the news when we come back. <laughs> Some people say it's their favorite part of the show, where we analyze and break down the news. <laughs> you get a lot of I show. I don't know how that could be the favorite part of the show, just <laughs> people's relationship. Yeah, well, hey, you work here, that's the price you pay. Gives a crap about them. These are guys who sit there, oh, let's not tell Howard anything because mm -hmm. let's put it on the air. Yeah, we have to keep secrets from Howard or otherwise yeah. it'll all be the brunt of his jokes. Well, they'll all pay. <laughs> all right, let's take a break. We'll be back right after these words. <laughs> 